and we should be live in the be live streaming community i'm just getting around to remembering that nick because i can't stop calling it be livers yeah no because so long that's the be live yeah yeah it's been be live I mean, streaming what... community yes it's, it's a bit longer isn't it <laughs> sounds so much more official <laughs> it does yes it's like we're grown up uh, right, okay, let's <laughs> remove. Yeah, it is It is like the, the community has evolved. Yeah. So if you're watching yeah, us now in the community, right. yeah, if you're watching us in the community, this is the only place that Nick and I are live today. This is exclusive to the Be Live streaming community. And I'll get my tongue around that. And if you're watching live, thank you. If you've got any questions for Nick and I about repurposing, then we're here to answer them. Uh, just to give you a taste of what we're going to be doing today. So first of all, uh, if I go to the agenda and get to the top of it, welcome to the show. And today's topic is, which Nick and I have known for a couple of days, live streaming, the power of repurposing. Now to take it in reverse order, if you're just watching in a few minutes, we're going to finish with we're going to finish with anything we forgot. So when we get to that <laughs> stage, we should have covered everything. That's a good idea. <laughs> we're going to look at creating your own TV channel using VI Loud, or as we've just done, uh, multi-channel replays using one stream. So you've got the recording and you want to repurpose it everywhere. We're going to also look at Facebook and YouTube premieres, which are a great way to gain an audience and interact with your audience whilst the premiere is playing, because you're not on camera. Writing blog posts, uh, which is, well, we'll come, come to each topic in turn and hopefully get to, but we're going to start off with how could we not start the broadcast with creating snippets using the Belive video editor? I mean, I, I think this is a, a boon. I think it, it's just so easy to use, Nick. It, it is, and it's one of the one of the best uh, little video clip editors that, that there is. And it's so nice to have it on the same platform. You don't have to go anywhere. You can just finish your live broadcast, load it up, cut a clip. It comes in a beautiful little square, perfect. You can add a title, add a description, or add some some call to action and yeah, just drop it into your social media. It is brilliant, absolutely love it. It's the most simple thing to do and you can cut up lots of different clips. You know, you don't have to, have to do one. It's it's so easy to use. It's brilliant, love it. It is, it's, it's and it's got things that other systems don't have. I'll just take a comment from uh, DD. Hello DD, good morning. Cool. If, if you're new to be live, welcome. Uh, this is a friendly place. Nick and I are friendly and uh, we'll guide you through one or two tips and tricks. <laughs> we are friendly. Come. We are friendly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you're watching live, please comment. We can show your comments on screen. Uh, if you notice anything wrong with the broadcast, uh, Nick and I, just to let you know, Nick and I are normally live on a Monday down there or over there. Uh, and we do a yeah, live video review and we are at the cutting edge. And the one thing we do know about our live broadcasts is that something's going to go wrong. So you have our apologies in advance, but you can catch Nick and I at five o'clock, 12 p.m. Eastern. Sorry, three o'clock, 10 a.m. Eastern. You can read the card. OK, and let's remove that. OK, and take another comment. Doing well for comments today. And Dee Dee's saying, oh, my gosh, I so need this. Do I need to sign up for it separately? Nope. Nope. Everything that you're seeing today is, well, it's part of being in the Be Live streamers community. And we say hello to. Uh, oh, I'm going to get it on screen. Right. That's a lot of your faces. Well, yeah, we do. We, we, <laughs> Yeah, we, yeah we, we, can, we, could, we, we could bring in more cameras, Nick. We could have two of each. Yeah. Um, right. Just a, a note to everybody who's watching. If if when you comment, 
and I show you a comment on screen, your picture does not show and your name does not show, in the text up above, just above this video, you will see a link. Click that link once and we'll be able to see your name. It's because of Facebook privacy. Uh, they don't want be live to see your picture and your name unless you give express permission. And you only need to do that once. Yeah, and it's fair enough. I yeah, it is. Uh, our Monday oh, show. <laughs> oh, you've opened, oh, where, where aren't we, Nick? Yeah, exactly. We are, we are everywhere on Monday. I'm amazed you could miss us. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we stream all over the place. You can see us on the website, uh, all over Facebook. If you just click uh, either Stephen or I's uh, Facebook pages, I think we're on there as well. So, um, yeah, you can find us. And I'm sure, sure we can drop a link in after the show. I'm, I'm sure we can. And... Um... I'm trying to share my name as well. Share, but I'll share both our names because as we are, we've got new viewers who might not know who we are. So that's hopefully showing one of them. Uh, right. Okay. Comments are coming thick and fast. And uh, do you want to read this one? Oh, so Scott Ayers is saying, oh, hi, Scott. Um, I've seen many of your videos. Um, you actually have to give that permission about once a month for every streaming app within groups or profiles. Um, Scott is yeah. saying, that, oh, I, thought, I, I thought it was just a one time thing. So it's so said, and that, that's good to know because we've had uh, people watching the broadcast in the group and they've said, I gave permission years ago and it's just disappeared. So thank you for that, Scott. Very helpful. And uh, mm -hmm. that's gone into our knowledge bank. Just realized both of you are wearing white shirts today. Well, we, we, <laughs> We didn't consult before the show, did we, Nick? We didn't. Remarkably, no, there was no memo, but we both have green screens and white shirts on. It's like we're twins, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hello, Bogdan. And, and actually, it, it's very rare for me to put a white shirt on. <laughs> and the next comment is from DD. Okay, thanks. As Nick said, we'll put the link in afterwards so you can catch our Monday show as well. I only had to watch it once with my coach. I'll do it once with my coach. Right, okay. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Keep us informed, Didi, as to uh, say hello to our yeah. good friend Corinda in London and catching up the comments Hi. before. You. Some people do have trouble with permissions. Yeah, we know DD, and uh, we're just grateful that everybody can actually see us today and to everybody who's watching us live. Thank you. Um, did I mention you? <laughs> uh, Maria is in Canada and is a good friend of ours, and we broadcast with Maria every Wednesday. Uh, and that's at 12 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. And you can catch it on that show as well. It's not that Nick and I are never broadcast, we're always on somewhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you kind of get this this recurring theme. <laughs> and good day from the colonies. I'm going to guess that. I, no, I, I can only guess wrong. And say hello to Corinda. Nick was a white shirt today on the show. It doesn't matter what shirt you wear. Corinda's quite right. As, 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 as long as I'm wearing a shirt, Corinda, that's the main thing. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> but you you did the Formula yeah. One show earlier today. We did, we did. That had its little technical issues, but we ploughed through because that's what we do. So, uh, yeah, no, good fun little show with Corinda on a Tuesday. Brilliant. Um, and I'm going to get my name on here if it's the last thing I do. It... <laughs> oh, just a minute. Hang um, on. Everyone knows Stephen Healy is. Hey, there you go. Right, okay. So we, we sussed that. We've got that working. And so we're happy now. And I suppose the, the, uh, we just started talking about this, and I'm going to bring it up on screen. This is the Beeline video editor. Now, I'm going to put this full screen. If we stop talking, can you let us know? Because you, be you should be able to hear Nick and I when I do this. OK, but this, this is the video editor. And looking at the video editor, these are all the recordings I've made. And if I go over to here, I can actually bring up the show that we did last week, Nick. If I press edit video, 
or a cracker it was a cracking show okay so what happens is this that uh you get this is live nick and i right you get up on screen the video okay so this is a recording at the top of the screen and underneath that you've got the timeline so if you click anywhere on the timeline, it will take you to that point in the video. And under that, this is something that only BeLive has. You can see various symbols, and those symbols tell you when people liked, commented, shared. In fact, they tell you all the activity within the broadcast. So when it comes to creating a snippet, you can go to a point in time where a lot of comments coming in. Obviously, what we were talking about was interesting. And you can create snippets. Now, you were saying a moment ago, Nick, that you can create more than one snippet. Yes. Yeah, you, don't, you, you, you create a snippet, and then you can download it. And then you, without leaving, you can just create another snippet and download it. You can, you can create multiple snippets all from the same place. Yeah, and they can, they, they can be posted on Facebook at the same time um, yeah. with the latest, the latest update. And it's just so easy to do. I mean, basically what you've got is I'll do this live and we're risking this, but I can move I can move in to there. Okay, so that's where I'm moving to. I'm going to move the left-hand bookend over to there. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to yeah, move the right-hand bookend over to there. And there we create the snippet, which starts at 6 minutes 17 and goes for about five minutes, which is sort of a length. And then you just press play to listen to it. As you're pressing play to listen to it, you can then create an overlay. And if you want to catch people's attention, you can use a colored overlay. Yeah. And you've got text at the bottom, text at the bottom. And it's quite possible. Uh, just come back to us so that people know we're still here. Um, it's quite possible <laughs> that you saw that on Facebook uh, five minutes before we went live because I created... You were playing. I was playing. I, I was playing. I created a snippet from the broadcast. I took it over to one stream and I sent out nine Facebook posts automatically and this this is what it's this is sort of repurposing so easy because the, the clip you can as you see later you can send it to many destinations but having downloaded it as nick said you can put it on facebook it's a new video it's, it's facebook's yeah. happy um and you've got the text which you can use to actually illustrate it and there's there's nothing catches people's attention more than than video um we know that and because you've got the text around it as well, you can actually sort of attract an audience. OK, now, when I sent this out, I sent out a link to the broadcast as well. So that anybody clicking the link will be in the live streamers community now. Uh, and I think most of them are the actual fact, because we have. All right. I, I told you I could have guessed who it was. And it was <laughs> his Harper. You click the link above. <laughs> we, we thought so and that's the nice thing and it is you know it's such a beautiful bright color if you, you look in your facebook feeds and you're scrolling and you see you see that bright orange and some lovely text yeah you you stop and the, the the nice thing is you know you can do you can do different different colors different you can have the text on the different sides or other on the top or the bottom a whole raft of things to do and it's just using uh, you know your previous broadcast it's a great idea because you can use your previous broadcast to either promote the replay or to talk about next week's show. Yeah, that's what we did today. We used we used the video from last week to actually promote the show in the live streamers group today. Um, so it's a great promotional tool. It's also great uh, if you do like Nick and I do. We do broadcasts and we're on sort of the cutting edge. We often fall off the edge, but basically we talk about we talk about everything that's new in our monday show and um, so we can make snippets about different topics and then take them over to youtube and then they become a knowledge base and we can write a blog, blog post which we'll come on to in a moment so 
it's not uh, the other thing that, that we can actually do because when nick and i together anything can happen is you can do um snippets of your bloopers <laughs> this is this is when things don't go quite as expected and nothing attracts people more than when things go wrong uh so you can if you if you make a mess then use it to promote your broadcast making people smile uh at your well not uh, when things go wrong uh is is yeah. it's just so easy to do really um i mean <laughs> after, after this broadcast if we do make any mistakes then we shall go to the beeline video editor and actually cut out chunks snippets to uh, to repurpose and that's yeah. yeah yeah and and sometimes you know those those blooper snippets could be longer than your show on last week's show we got about eight minutes in and i decided that the first eight minutes we just wanted to cut so we started the show again. Um, it was just one of those things. Basically, I was playing video and I could hear the video whilst I was talking to Nick. It, it didn't, nobody else could hear it, but I could. So we're not doing that today. Mm. So I'm gonna hide that, uh, stop screen sharing and come back to Nick and I. And the screen will settle down in a second and we'll go back to our, our favorite, my favorite layout. And we say hello to, Oh, hello, new people. Oh. Hello, Shari. Nice to see you. Hello, Shari. And over to Alina. And Alina's saying hello to Dee and posting a link. You can read more about video editor over here. Brilliant. Okay. And that's that's golden because nice, yeah. it means you can actually see the video editor in action and a step by step guide. So thank you, Alina for posting the link mm. and can i just say it's another great thing <clears throat> another reason why i love be live is that you know there, there is all these articles as well that, that are so easily accessible um you just have to ask in the group and someone will always point you to where you need to go so you know and and be live is just so intuitive it's just this, one of the simplest most intuitive lovely platforms and that's uh, that's why i love it so much I agree with every word that you said, Nick. Not unsurprisingly, yeah. I do agree. And <laughs> over to it, it. hi Stephen, hi Nick. Hello, Lena. Good to see you. Hi, Lena. Right. So we've looked at um, the, these are things you may already be doing, but we are going to move on to things that you probably never heard about during the course of the broadcast but creating snippets is easy and fun i know that a lot of us don't like listening back to ourselves yeah you don't like watching the show thinking i shouldn't have worn that white shirt but don't worry about that what you're actually doing is looking for good content you're not looking for you don't get style points you get points for actually having good content and if you're enthusiastic about what you're talking about because if if you've got if you've got a passion for what you're talking about, Nick, then that comes through, doesn't it? Oh, it, it it so does. And, you know, that's that's the thing. That's why we love live streaming. That's why we quite happily, um, you know, test things that probably we shouldn't be testing live or normal people wouldn't test live because we just really love doing it. You know, and we don't mind what happens because it's it's a result of in one way, shape or form. And, uh, and that's the thing. I think people can see that we really enjoy testing and, and pushing the boundaries see what we can do totally and there's so many things happening all around us um almost on a daily basis and we're just grateful that all these wonderful engineers are sort of fine tuning everything and we're looking forward to, to good things coming up we know that uh, be live mobile is on its way shout out to the team yeah. shout out to the team working on ios look looking forward to going live on android that's just a subtle hint um yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right okay now the second way is uh creating snippets is writing blog posts now blog posts have been with us since before or since forever really since man could write and we had the internet people have been writing blog posts because the blog post is is a combination of things isn't it it's not just it's not just text these oh days. 
No, that's one of the, the beauties of, of blog posts is you can do, and I was, this is what exactly what I was doing over the weekend. I was taking some content that I'd actually got and I was actually on YouTube and then I was creating a blog post or multiple blog posts um, with those videos embedded. So, you know, I could take some from, if you're using BeLive, for example, we can take a, make this into a blog post and we can have a series of blog posts. So we have a, a weekly show. So we have a series of blog posts relating to what we're talking about with the video getting embedded in it. Um, but then also we can have a like a one big hero blog post. So everything links in. So if you, you for your for your website SEO, you want internal links, external links. And so you have them all linked in together with a huge um, narrative. I I always I use something called otter.ai just to transcribe oh, okay. uh, yeah. what I've been doing. Um, it's not too bad. Um, I have to, obviously, because it's AI, you have to read through it and just correct a few little things. But then you can just see, you know, these, then it's all written down and it's just so easy then just to edit little bits out to just create really good blog posts. And so, so yeah, if I, if you if you don't want to use Otter, there are plenty other AI versions. Um, you know, one of the easiest ones is upload it, if you want for free, upload it into to YouTube and then <clears throat> go into the, uh, subtitle editor and just have a look at what they've written and uh, you can uh, download a copy of that I believe now so you know you just have to go and change it all around but but Otter is uh, super cheap and uh, I think it's like less than oh, yeah. I think Rev is like a dollar a minute and uh, Otter's kind of like one ten cents a minute I think or you can do a buy a, a monthly package and I think I get six thousand minutes for like ten dollars something crazy like that Plus, that's, that's 100 hours of broadcasting. So that's nearly enough to cover what we do. Yeah, yeah that's good. I should take a look. I should take a look. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the thing is that uh, there are so many different things. I'm glad you've tried it out and, and got the pricing off because when people are charging per minute or per word, then you sort of back off a bit and think this is going to cost me the earth but you've just said it doesn't so yeah. excellent okay and over to dd who's saying i've been no, no, torn no. about being a blog. why do you blog nick uh dd the reason for doing a blog is it just get more people to see your content that's that's the reason it's it, it's you know we we have it it's our own you know because it's because you own it it's, it's your own piece of uh, internet real estate so no one can take it away from you it's just yours but then if you you know you can write and embed your videos people will see your content you get people coming to to watch you um you know we can actually live stream directly onto our blog posts now without you having to use youtube or or any other platform and that's one of the, the amazing things that we've been playing around with on a monday yeah. and so you've got people that drive you know people will come and visit your blog Stephen, you've got some crazy stats from 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 our website, from the blog. Well, in terms of, in terms of, of people visiting your pages. All right, okay. Uh, time for another screen share, which I'm going to set up. So I'm going to go screen share. I'm in the live studio. I'm going to go screen share. I'm going to select a screen, and it's going to be this one. I hope. Sometimes you get the wrong one, but this one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I come back into the studio and I'm going to bring it up on screen and remove the comment from DD for the moment. And I'm going to put it full screen. OK, the, the thing about blogging, and I'll leave it no figure, it is basically that um, a blog is, is permanent. OK, so when you I created the blog for this show before to, before we went live, and that meant that people were reading the blog post. They found the link to Nick and I's show today and came and joined, which is absolutely brilliant. So you can blog about a show before you do it. You can blog about a show after you've done it. As Nick said, you can actually embed the recording as well. And if you are consistent with a blog, and this is where Nick mentioned the figures, if I get to the right page, then I'm going to show you my stats. Now, I started. Well, I started taking this seriously, and you'll see how seriously in a minute. At the moment, 
I've had 996 visits to the blog today. So 996 wow. views today, and that was updated a minute ago. So we'll update this to get into the show. I've had 10,917 uh, views this week, 22,000 this month. So as you can see from the chart below, I need to explain the chart first. And the blog that we did, live streaming, The Power of Repurposing by Stephen and Nick, has already had 119 views. So 119 visitors came to the blog before we went live, 23 of whom had never been to the blog before. And this is where the magic that, comes in. It, yeah, it, this is where the magic comes in. They didn't just read the blog post about Nick and I. They went on, to, because of the way it's structured, to read eight other posts as well. Yeah? And that's what, what happens. People come and read one blog. And then at the top, it says all blogs. And you can then go and you read other blogs. And people do. And right, this stats program is written by an Indian software designer. And uh, he puts his graphs back to front. So All right. <laughs> <laughs> my stats are not going down. My stats are going up. That's where I started. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I just had to explain it because I started in May. OK, and I'm going to try and highlight that 306 visits a day, which is reasonable. 366 visits a day. Then I started getting serious and I pushed it over a thousand and I reported on it last week. And now on Saturday, I had 1700 visits. Yeah, that's that 17, 1700 blog views in one day. And then you go on and that's 1700. Sunday was down a bit and today we're only two thirds the way through the day. So by the end of today, that will be back up at um, about 1700. Wow. So that's the power of blogging. And to promote the blog, I send out tweets during the day, two or three tweets during the day. I post on LinkedIn and then I post on Facebook in several different places. And that's all I'm doing. I'm not paying money to anybody. This is all uh, sim pure and simply legwork. And from that, I'll go off full screen now. From that, you can actually build up yeah so this this is about it's, it's about being consistent yeah if you consistently go away, okay. like can i do on a monday if you consistently write a blog and it's published on a certain day you build up uh you build up the people who want to read your blog and that that's the key to it let's go for a few comments that is as i said crazy stats and just so brilliant to see Stephen. that's amazing Thank you. Thank you. And it's, it's, a lot of it's, it's been right place, right time. I mean, you can't, you could buy views, but but actually earning them organically, you get a sense of something achieved. Uh, and <laughs> just, just to point out, the, the, the mobile software is still in beta testing. Thank you. And okay. And the next comment, Didi is saying, wow. Um, yeah. Over to Didi again. WordPress is hard. It's a lot to keep up for me, I think. I had a friend set it up. Any recommendations? Well, we both use Elementor, don't we? Do you want to talk about that for a yeah. minute? Yeah. Um, yeah, basically, you know, you can you can use, well, we use Elementor. It's a, it's a, a, a WordPress uh, theme and plugin, um, and it makes it really easy to build in, in blocks if you've, if you if you've not looked at WordPress for a while, I mean, I, you know, I've, I've been uh, I started building websites about five years ago, and it's so different. Uh, it's like chalk and cheese now, and it's just so easy. You have little blocks where you can bring in text and little widgets, so you can bring bring things in that will do things. So like a countdown time, as you can bring video in, uh, bring images in, and it's just you can see the layout actually in real time, as opposed to to to, to typing it all out and putting parts of code in and it's really is just uh, just really a point and shoot drag and drop uh, type thing but you can there's so many different uh, ways you can do it it's a really nice and easy piece of kit so i i think you know if i was if i was recommending something to you i'd say certainly check out 
Elementor. Uh, you can use their, their their free version just to make sure you like it. Um, it's it, it's great, and there are there are many similar uh, types of types of plugins that will help and themes. But uh, but yeah, and WordPress. I think something like eighty percent of all websites are built in WordPress. So that's very. So true. you can imagine um, uh, imagine how um, Google likes that. So <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> because yeah. it's the, they, they they built their 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 uh their bots to, to crawl all over wordpress websites so it's always good it 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 is and there's a there's a certain sense of achievement when you actually write a blog um mm. it, it can't you, you've got to i mean it's like doing a live show it's similar to doing a live show i think you've actually you can't well i'll talk from my point of view and then we'll go from there basically when i write a blog especially the blog for the show what I do is just write down a series of bullet points. These are the topics I'm going to cover. Then I flesh out each of the bullet points and I say to myself, have I done a video about that? Yep. So I can put the video in. Do I have an image? Yep. I can put the image in. And you build it up like that and you, you, you tend to find that the, the end result is just is something you can take pride in and uh, that people en enjoy actually reading. Uh, but it is a process, isn't it, Nick? It, it is and, it, and it's just it's just really nice and i like to keep it you know super simple you want it to be readable and that's the lovely thing about being able to drop videos and images in it it breaks it up and, and it gives natural breaks um for people to follow and yeah it, it's a lovely and i echo what you're saying there is you know a huge sense of pride um when you've written one and then you've actually got the people that you know you haven't paid for ads but people have found it and of read it and you think wow i'm a bona fide publisher of my own work and it is great you know it doesn't matter you can be four or five people or it could be five thousand people the fact that someone has gone and found your your blog is a, is a huge sense of achievement and the other thing is that this going forward from blogs if you're blogging on a regular basis then you're actually writing uh, you're sharing your knowledge and you're sharing knowledge through the blog mm. and through videos. And what you've then got, this is, I'm not a marketer, so this may well be wrong, but I heard a marketer say this once, that you can take your blogs and turn them into an ebook, And that becomes a giveaway that you can actually use in promoting your broadcasts or your cause or anything. Yeah? This is, tr this is true. And funny enough, I was having the same conversation with, uh, with Owen, our friend Owen, just earlier on this afternoon about uh, creating video, making blogs, and at the end of the day, you know, you've created your own course as well by accident because you're just explaining to people how things are done. Totally, and and over to uh, right. You, you <laughs> Well, in, in actual yeah. fact, we like to do things just on the spur of the moment. Shall we? Shall we do one about blogging next Monday? Let's do it on um, Monday show. Yeah, we'll have a deep yeah. dive. It, so we're gonna we're gonna have a deep so dive into blogging on Monday, and you can catch us live, which will be at ten a.m. Eastern, three p.m. in the UK, or you can watch the replay, and it will be both on my profile and on Nick's profile as well. So. There you go. Um, okay, and over to Didi again, and thank you for all the comments. Never thought about that. Thank you for a great idea. I think that was your idea. Now. That could have been any one of them. <laughs> could have, <laughs> take, take your pick. <laughs> we're, one, we're full one, of them. One thing that Nick and I share amongst others is British Reserve, which means that <laughs> pairs a compliment, would you say thank you? And we, we're we're good uh, right i'm going to stop sharing screen because we've looked at the the stats and what's possible and i'm just blown away by the number of people who actually read the blog every day and do so um consistently now and it's just that it's just been the right place right time spark hits you get so many people coming in and you just need to continue i blogged every day for the last 11 days well apart from yesterday when we went out in the British Sun. Okay, and over to Didi again. And Didi is saying yes, thank you. 
the ebook. And the ebook, yeah, absolutely. All oh, right, okay. Absolutely. There you go. Brilliant. Okay, so look out for two new ebooks, one by Mr. Nick Wood and one by Mr. Stephen Healy. They will be on your doorstep very shortly. Or well, Nick's ahead of me on this one because Nick's got a host of videos on YouTube where he's been sharing his knowledge, and that would make an awesome ebook. So we may all get there first. So yeah. we've covered um, writing blog posts, and they just last forever, and you can promote them forever, especially for evergreen. Unless you're actually doing current affairs, then you can promote an old blog post as long as you want. I know. Uh, Four years ago, I, I before I got into this video thing, I was a, a programmer and uh, I, I can code. And I wrote a, a piece of software that's called Blog Booster. Now, Blog Booster oh. has one job in life, and its job is to tweet out on a predetermined schedule old blog posts. Yeah. Now, oh, Angelica, wow. Angelica has a a web a blog which she's been running for five years and she does a post every week two posts sometimes so she's got about 500 blog posts so i do know that on Gallic, on angelica's desk at the moment blog booster is running and it's sending out five tweets a day about her blogs and people actually follow the links all right okay all right okay. Oh, fantastic right that is brilliant. I okay that. Now, we, we talked about the video editor a few months ago, and at the start of this broadcast, we had uh, a countdown clock. Now, to take the countdown clock off the video so that your replay viewers don't have to see it is a doddle using the BeLive video editor. And that's the prime use of it, in the, just to take it off. Okay, because what that does is it creates a new video it's got a new unique number and Facebook will not say to you, I've seen that before. That's the key. So if you take the countdown clock off, you can then upload to Facebook and to YouTube, Nick. You can indeed. And, uh, and YouTube premieres are, are great. It allows you to, to schedule, <coughs> they can schedule your, 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 you upload your video. You can, then do all your your tagging, your description, put all your links in that you want. You can do your end cards, your everything that you that YouTube allows you to do. If that if they allow you to do it, it's normally a good idea to do it. So you can then put on your um, your chapters now. So every time you change a little or subject heading, that becomes a chapter. You can timestamp it. All these little things just make life great. And then you can schedule it, and you can set it as a premiere which means that you can watch it off or you can promote it for for one. And then when it's actually uh, goes live, you can sit there and you can be there with people and you can chat to them in the chat. So, so it's like you're there at your own video premiere. How cool is that? It's that's, brilliant. That, that, that's, that's way cool because you, you're not distracted. You can concentrate on the chat and actually answer people's questions in real time. Um, exactly. And we, it, it, we could be we could be answering DD and dropping links for her as opposed oh, yeah. to we'll come back to you dd <laughs> yeah we'll drop yeah, things I mean, we'll, after so that's that's the great thing yeah, yeah i mean what, the, one of the things is even with two of us on screen we do like to concentrate on actually talking to you rather than actually going off and doing things so our concentration you described it there's that's the technique you use um so if you've not already done a facebook premiere just try it um and if you need any help then Nick and I are here, and so are the team at BeLive as well. You'll find blogs on the, the BeLive uh, website, all about premieres. Um, so all the information that you need is at your fingertips with examples of exactly how to do it. And if you type in search box BeLive Facebook premiere, you'll find a blog post. And in fact, if you type into the... Um, if you type into Google, Google's wonderful. If you type in Be Live, how do I use the agenda? You'll get an answer from Be Live. So do use Google. Google is our friend. I do, I okay. Google everything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. And over to comments and over to DD. 
I do online marketing mindset. So I think this would be great. Excellent. It's yep. a good fit, isn't Perfect. it? Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, everything we've talked about, we've talked about with a technical marketing hat from, and, and yeah, everything, every, we, we've tried everything. We are very trying and we've tried all the systems that we're talking about. Uh, and the video temporarily cut out. Okay, this, this, this is the joy of live video. Uh, occasionally the signal will go, uh, mm. but hopefully we are back live now, hopefully. Right, okay. If now, just a, on a technical note, if somebody reports that you have a bad signal, the first thing you do is to stay calm and collected and look as though you're not actually paddling to try and keep up and try and sort things out. If, however, two or three people report a problem with your live broadcast, then you do have a problem and you've got to do something about it. Um, yeah. So thank you, DD, for the alert, and we'll keep a watch on things. And if you're watching as well, uh, if you can tell us whether the signals are okay or not, that would be good. Yeah. Right. Bef before today's broadcast, if you're on anywhere on Facebook today, um, it, okay, yeah. and get, take the comment yeah. and come back to the, the title. So the comment, I see a green screen behind you, a background downloading zoom can I do it on be live uh i'm using expert vcam and yes you can i can go just a minute i can go purple for you okay. <laughs> right uh while i'm doing that i'll switch my other light on as well just take the opportunity right okay so you can use a green screen on be live there is be live's own green screen which is in beta testing if you go to the Be Live Close Focus Group, you can ask uh, for access to it so you can actually try it out. We'll post a link to the focus group afterwards. So option one, expert VCAM, that will work wherever you go. Option two, fast becoming number one, as soon as it comes back to is Be Live's version uh, of background removal, which is included in your subscription, and it simply, simply works. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's very good, isn't it? It's good. Yeah, no, I love it. <clears throat> and option three is you could just have your green screen. <laughs> well, yes. Because I like to be in front of green. <laughs> I, 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 I keep turning the lights on, Nick. I'm trying to get my shirt as white as yours. I mean, I wish I was in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, pristine i don't know i just one of those i think it's just a really white shirt <laughs> <laughs> it is uh right okay now our next way of actually repurposing is multi-channel and that was an auto magic comment uh, you'll notice dd that if somebody comments with an icon in your studio it will automatically display without you moving your hands okay so thank you for that <laughs> right okay so we'll go again right okay now nick and i are fans of one particular website and that website is called appsumo appsumo <laughs> is the best place it is it's the best it place to find, find deals okay if you go into appsumo and you type video and you set up uh, an alert every time they do something about video you get notified and nick and i picked up a bargain uh, a couple of weeks a couple of months ago now which we talk about in our monday shows but today we're talking about an application called onestream now onestream has two jobs um its, pri it's primary job its original job was to take your recorded video and send it out to multiple sites now this is not just going to Facebook and YouTube onestream can go to any of your Facebook accounts or groups so you can go to your profile you can go to your pages you can go to your groups so if you've got multiple pages and multiple groups you can send the same video streaming to them at the same time now when it reaches facebook it shows as a live video so this, this could be naughty so always put in the description of the video this is a recording 
yeah so that people don't think they're actually watching you live because facebook says it's live youtube says it's live twitch says it's live twitter says it's live so a little line just as disclaimer really but it means that after this broadcast for example i will download the b live version of the video which is in hd and then i will upload it to one stream so i upload it once and then i will broadcast out tomorrow to 24 different places now it's when we're live we're exclusive to be live as group we're not broadcasting anywhere else at all afterwards we will repurpose this broadcast to 24 different places and they will look as if they're live but they'll have the disclaimer and this is a recording of nick and steve in the be live streamers community uh, recorded on the first of june and then people can actually watch it secure that well, we're, we're not live. We're actually, it's actually a recording. The other thing, of course, we're going to take, take snippets as well, Nick. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's amazing. Yeah, 24 different locations to, to restream your, your, your content to is just, you know, it's great. Um, are you going to also talk about the potential to do that <laughs> live anyway? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah truly truly um it's like, I mean, we, it's like we, we, yeah. it's, it's like a live repurposing so yeah so we, we, we repurpose while we're live we we again from this app sumo we got uh, the software called switchboard and that allows us to, to to then take our live stream and put it into a whole multitude of of other places and the really cool thing is, you know, it can be other people's uh, property as well. So we can say to people, oh, you know, uh, would you like our, 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 would you like us to live stream to your, uh, your Facebook pages or your business pages or your groups? And people can grant a live streamed into their, into their, um, their online, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, property. So, so you know, so if people have a like a technical show, for example, a live streaming. Uh, channel on a facebook page uh, and they want a couple of cutting edge blokes that don't mind really pushing things then you know we can have our show directly beamed while we're live directly beamed into their into their into their groups and into their pages which is uh, amazing so we're we're repurposing on the hoof as it were and actually we're, we're syndicating the show and that's and that's what it's all about you know we the whole reason for this is that we want more views and more interaction and more people um so we can share and teach and and you know just basically network so you know the more the merrier and that's just one of the things that again we we found it on app sumo and we both dived in <laughs> well, well totally if if you want to know how nick and i do that then please do join the be live focus group and you'll find out more about it and get access to a tool which is in beta which will allow you to do everything that nick was talking about and it is just magical because is, is nick repurposing on the hoof i like that i'll, I'll, I'll yeah. go with that that's good <laughs> so with with one stream uh, again i got an absolute idea last year uh, i've no doubt they've gone up soon again they raised 500 million to actually fund what they're doing so uh it's a it's a keeper it's not going anywhere if you take an app sumo deal or you try it for a month then you can take your broadcast you basically upload it to one stream you give it a title description tags and then you say where you want it to go to and that's it as i said before the show today i sent this out to nine different facebook destinations youtube twitter twitch and the website um and it's all using the one tool and it's great for for repurposing content i thoroughly recommend it having tried it over to the comments and dd it's that's right yeah brilliant yep. we agree it is so good i have one stream but it's hard to go to multiple sites since i use zoom i have to have the pro version they told me uh, that is true. That is true. Um, 
with the Belive, we'll give a link to the Belive focus group, then your world will open up and you can go live to your website, um, which is where things are, are headed. And O to Didi again. And again, thank you for your comments. 24. Oh, goodness. Yes. Yeah. Tip of the iceberg, We're everywhere. Didi. <laughs> we're everywhere. There's, there's no escaping us. And we're actually in orange. Yeah. It's, it's actually, <laughs> I took. I took the colours in this post in this card, and thank you, Belive, for creating the card. I took yeah, the colours in, yeah. Um, took the colours in this card and used them in the video that went out to those twenty-four places. I used the Belive video editor to actually create it. And when I log into Belive, do I log in for Absurd or Belive? You always log into Belive directly uh, using Facebook or YouTube. Uh, you can use either. Yeah. I mean, logging in is is relatively straightforward. Um, we've been using. It's going to sound well. We've been using Be Live for years. Me longer. Well, we've been using it for years. We we trust it. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Uh, right. Take that card down. Oh, I mentioned oh. the video. I mentioned the video. Okay. Ah. And yep. And here it is. <clears throat> Just a minute. This is the video. Hey. He is. He is. Yeah. So okay. uh, my, my initial Me? question. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm going to close, close that tab. Just puts down. Right now, I have sanity restored. I just puts down. Right now, I have sanity restored. Oh, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Sure, whether I broke it then. Uh, it, it <laughs> my life so much in the show. Um, so. That is one stream. Nick talked about switchboard. We both recommend the switchboard. Absolutely brilliant. As Nick said, you can actually borrow your friends' uh, pages, websites, wherever you want. Yeah. And they can they can play your content because the, there's a a win win situation because you can do the same for them. And in fact, Corinda exactly uh, offered that today, which is good. Uh, okay. Now, right. Okay. Now, one thing that you can you create this content, you put it on YouTube, you create the playlist. What happens next? What happens next is a website called VI Loud, and VI Loud allows you to create your own video channel. Now, it means you we talked about blog posts earlier, you can write a blog post. Put the playlist into VI Loud. That gives you a video player. You can embed the video player into your blog post and you have your own channel. And people can then come to that one page and they can watch the replays. The other thing is, and this is the mag one of the magic parts, is that when you go live, they can't play the replays. The replays stop. You actually go live on the TV channel. So on Mondays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. BST, <laughs> 10 a.m. Eastern, we go live on the website and all the video plans stop for our live video. So you can say to people, I'll be live on my site at 3 p.m. BST. If you want to go there early, you can watch my collection of shows. Now that, that, took me on because VI Loud is uh, again well funded and um, they are very responsive. I mean we're normally Nick and I on Monday are actually live on the website and it stops the, the replays and people come to watch yeah. us because the, the thing is you can actually give out the link to the website well in advance, weeks in advance. You can say I'm going to be live here on July 23rd and you will. Yeah. No messing about with Facebook links that you are going to be like, because that's that Facebook links are just a nightmare at the moment, Nick. Oh, they're terrible. 
they're terrible but this is another great thing is you can actually you know you can go grab a link shortener you know and just and actually have your link describe your channel in there so it could be, it could be you know steven and nick's tv channel as an example i'm sure we'd come up with something much cleverer than that but at least then your your link is actually saying what it is you're sending people to go and see and you know you can you can change your 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 links all the time on these 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 like on bitly or somewhere like that um <clears throat> you can just have your your long leak that uh, leak your long link but if your show, for example, is on a certain subject one week, then you could just take the link, you know, create the shortened link with that show title, um, and then just send that out. And it's still going to go to the same place. And then people will always have that as well. So, you know, it's just another way, because some people do get a little bit scared of, of long uh, URLs. They look ugly, and uh, they look a little bit scary. And you always think, oh, what am I going to do if I click that link? So yeah, if you've got a nice little little uh, vanity link shortener, and of course it also tracks tracks all the clicks uh, and things like that as well. So I would say, yeah, if you if you're gonna if you're gonna live stream and have your own TV show on your own website, I would say that you know let's do that for a let's do that for an episode. So it's like a this week's episode is all about blogging, as an example. We could have the shortener maybe um, all about blogging might have been taken might not we really have a look but but that sort of way then you know people know exactly what they're going to go and see that's, that's Just very thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> right and the, the thing about vr loud is uh, i'm just i'm just basically setting things up in the background um is hopefully i can do a screen share now and come to the comment in a yeah. moment so i'm going to i'm going to share screen and uh i'm going to go to the chrome tab and I'm going to go over there. And I was approached by, by our good friend, uh, Fons Chamberlain. And Fons, Fons said, uh, can I have my own TV channel? And I'm going to bring it up on screen now. Oh, wow. This, I'm going to put it full screen. Uh, this is Fons's TV channel. Uh, <laughs> And create a using not that one. Uh, create a using VR loud, and I can scroll down, and you can see that there's an introduction by Fonz, and then we've got the videos from season one, and this will catch up shortly. Season two, and season three. Oh, brilliant! So all these videos are actually in one place, a courtesy of VR loud, and then we've got an advert for Fonz's book, which is available on Amazon. And you can click the link and go and buy it. And then notes on the video and the link to his site. So this is what we're talking about is using VR Loud. I'm actually in season two. What using VR Loud to actually create <laughs> as Nick said earlier, put everything in one place rather than um having it scattered. Bring bring yeah. everything into one place. Oh. So that's, yeah. All right. And uh Thank you, Didi, and go to Didi's previous comment, which I missed so much info. I need to rewatch it. Got to go. Thank you. You're most welcome. Take care, and we'll see you again soon. Um, see you, Didi. Right, Thanks for okay. watching. Okay, so I just need to set something up. Just a minute. Just let me find a page, and I can go here. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to share screen again, Nick. Now Nick has okay. no idea what Nick has no idea what's no. about to happen, but. I, I'm going to go over to the Chrome tab and I'm going to select that. Okay, so I've now got that successfully in my studio and I'm going to hide the one we're looking at. And I didn't want to go too far with this, I have to say, but this is, and I'm going to put it full screen. Okay, this is VI Loud. And you'll see at the top of it, it says, <laughs> Nick Wood TV, and if I go to if I if I go to preview Nick Wood TV, okay, then it actually shows Nick's videos, and this is going to be I'm going to need to stop sharing that, and hopefully it won't break it. But on Nick Wood TV, you have Nick's public videos from YouTube, oh. and. Uh, there you are. 
live stream q a side hustle wow. with nick and um it's all there and i would oh, love wow. yeah um so there you have it oh, man. nick wood tv okay so that's basically i just hide that for a moment come back to us uh because oh, we need to we, we need to work together to refine that but it's all set up um you need to select the videos you want and tell me what artwork you want and then you we're away oh stephen you're a gentleman thank you so much you are <clears throat> so so generous thank you thank you um anything we forgot we've got there we've got to anything we've forgotten we took over the 60 minutes okay. i know it's amazing i don't know we've got we covered a we've covered one heck of a lot <laughs> we really have a dd says she's going to come back and watch the replay uh i know right now we've got we've got a tradition thank you dd thank you dd for comment yeah we've got a tradition on the shows that nick and i do I open the broadcast and therefore Nick will close today's broadcast. Over to you, Nick. Oh, thank you, Stephen. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you found that as, as information packed as, as we found it enjoyable uh, to create and share with you. If you do have any questions, obviously, you've got questions about Be Live, then obviously, you know, drop them in the comments. As we say, the team are just absolutely amazing. Uh, you can find us, obviously, on a Monday at uh, 3 p.m. UK time, 10 a.m. Eastern, where we push the boundaries. And Stephen, uh, I believe you are here. I'm not sure how often you're here on the Be Live one. Is it every week? I'm here on the first and third Tuesdays of every month. The first Tuesdays, 5 p.m. UK time, 12 midday Eastern. So until we see you again, which let's face it, it's probably gonna be really, really soon in one way, shape or another. <laughs> Have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye. And where's the stop button gone? Oh, it's over there. <laughs>